Alex and I are, are by ourselves in the, in the uh, ID buzz. Uh, and uh, right now, we've got 50 miles of fuel left in this thing and 23% battery. Uh, now, you know, lately I've been doing more time in Hyundai world. In Hyundai world, this would be a problem uh, because I can't precondition the battery once the battery's below 20%. It won't let me, you know, because it's afraid I'm going to run out of fuel. <laughs> and for some people who are beginners, that's not a bad thing. I'm not blaming Hyundai for that because a lot of the users who are coming to Hyundai's, it's their first EV. They have no idea what they're doing. And so that's kind of a little bit of the of nannying there. But in this car, there are no such such problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on battery preconditioning. And Alex has an ID4, and you use it all the time, right? I do, yeah. I yeah. love it. Yep. And what's the advantage of battery preconditioning? Um, it heats it up so much quicker, you can charge so much faster. Right. right and it's, and it's, it's heating up that battery. And, and, and no doubt, a warm, up-to-temperature battery is much happier than a battery that is sitting at the current temperature, which is like 18 degrees Fahrenheit here. Yeah. So, so it's going to charge way better. And show me how to show me how you turn on battery preconditioning. This Alex, you'll enter charging as well, and then you'll see quick charging potential, ninety-one kilowatts. Now, what does that mean? Does that that means that if I plugged it in right now, exactly, I'd be at ninety-one kilowatts. Right? Exactly. But if we heat the battery up, what's what's this all about? What's it telling yeah, me? Yeah, heat the battery up. Fifty-four minutes will be needed to optimize to one hundred seventy kilowatts. All right, so we're we're almost. Uh, doubling the charging speed if we preconditioning now a lot of what i love about this alex is it's telling me how long it's going to take to do this mm -hmm. there's a lot of cars that don't tell you that and i have customers who will come in and say well i thought this car charged fast you know it's not charging fast at all i i i turned on battery preconditioning and i was three miles from my house <laughs> and i got there and it wasn't charging any fast. well that's because it's a big battery these cars don't have small batteries, so it takes a lot of energy, probably at least five kilowatt hours uh, per hour of, of energy to warm that battery up. So you're going to use a lot of battery to get there, but we don't care because when we get there, we're not charging at 93 kilowatts. We're doubling that. We're up to 170 kilowatts in 53 minutes. Now, maybe we won't have it totally warmed up by the time we get there. We'll try to run around a little bit to get this as close as possible. But that's the mission that uh, Alex and I are on right now. And we're gonna take this to a Tesla charger because hey, that is the future. And we'll see where this car is in terms of charging what it's predicted to charge at and what it actually charges at at a Tesla charger at Bucky's. And we're eating lunch at Bucky's. <laughs> we're gonna get some brisket. And uh, why, why our, our ID buzz uh, is charging at a Tesla station. That ought to get some attention from those Tesla folks uh, when they see one of these things pulled up. Uh, and the other nice thing about charging this car is they've got the charging port in the very back just where you need to have a charging port to charge at a Tesla station. Because when this goes over to NAX, North American Charging Standard, and we no longer have the current charging, but we have NAX charging, we can snuggle right up to that Tesla charger and away we go. And we're going to see that happening in just a few minutes. We'll see it when we get to Bucky's. So Alex and I are just getting ready to pull into Bucky's here. Uh, and hey, you know, basically the, the, the buzz is down to 7% and mm -hmm. 16 miles, you know. And, and I know it's not below 5% like some of my friends would do, but I, I don't drive that way. <laughs> I, I, I like having fuel and I never want to be the guy on the side of the road with a big EV that's out of, out of, out of fuel. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? We, we took a, a short break there for a restroom break on the way here. And you know why the car's running, it's still optimizing that battery. Uh, and uh, right now, uh, it has reached its maximum charging potential at 189 kilowatts, which, which I'll be happy with. And we'll, we'll see what that does in terms of uh, uh, what we have left over uh, uh, when, we, when we get there and how long it, how deep it goes into the pack. That's what I'm curious about. So it says 189. We'll see if it's at that speed at a Tesla charging station. 
and we're also going to see how deep into the pack it goes because if I'm in a Hyundai product I'm, I'm gonna only do a hundred kilowatts here that's that's the best I'm gonna do uh, and you know what we've got a pretty full station here that's a problem Wow you know that's a problem you know usually when I come to Bucky's nobody's here I'm like yeah. the only game in town all right and I kind of would like to be off by myself uh, but that's not going to happen because we got people charging here, and uh, we we can't we can't do much about that right now. But we'll 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 just keep the car warm here. Uh, we'll wait for an opportunity for a charger to open. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, I've come to Bucky's when you can't even get a parking spot, <laughs> yeah. and there maybe was one or two Teslas charging. Today. We pull in, the lot's practically empty for a Bucky's, <laughs> yeah. and we can't find a charging station. So, so, so it must be Tesla road trip day uh, mm -hmm. here. But we'll we'll catch up with this just shortly when we pull in, and we'll we'll uh, we'll let you know what the results are. You know, I mean, they've got it so far back that you could you could pretty much reach it. He's going to keep coming back, keep coming back. That's good, Alex. Keep coming back a little further. That's good. A little further. Whoa. Alex just pulled into the Tesla charger. Alex has never uh, charged at a magic dock before. So this will be a <laughs> new experience for him. So he's going to do that. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, have Alex open up the charging port there. And Perfect. I'm just going through the app here very quickly. And I have oh, to yeah. tell the app what uh what our station is so it's 2b or not 2b but it's oh, 2b it's 2b right so here's 2b <laughs> yes. alex why don't you open that up while i pull this thing out perfect it's you know first what we do is we press and hold the button for two seconds here we hold the top and push it in and then it unlocks oh, your click then it yeah. comes out and now alex do the duties here and awesome right there we go Hang this little piece up. All right, uh, don't worry about that. Let it yeah, dangle. Let it dangle. We don't care about that. All right, we're and in. so let's step back here a little bit and we're gonna wait for the green light to connect. Okay. All right, it is charging, it turned green and we are good to go. And we're gonna go hop in the car and see how this is going. So we have the charger connected and one of the cool things about VWs is they have a beautiful light in the front that kind of lets you know what's going on. Red is where we're at, and green is where we want to be. Uh, and that kind of guides you how full your, your charger uh, capacity is at that point. We just started charging, and we're up to 28%, and we are still doing 198 kilowatts at 28% uh, battery, so I'm impressed. Right now, uh, after another quick bathroom break, because I'm 65, you know, uh, come back, Alex stayed in the car because he's not 65. <laughs> and right now we are at 39%. Now, you know, we had that really fast charging time uh, start out. Now you got to remember it's 23 degrees right now. It is a cold day. And so now we have, uh, at, uh, we're at 40% uh, battery. Uh, we are now chucking along at uh, 86 kilowatts. Not or 115 kilowatts. No, mm -hmm. At right now with a with a 40 percent battery, we we have dropped 119 kilowatts. Still 10 kilowatts faster than I would charge in my Ionic Five, uh, and I suspect it would be far faster than I would be uh, charging in an ID4. So you know that's respectable. That's decent. Um, and uh, we're going to see where we are when we get to 80 percent. That'll be our next check in and we'll see what's happening. All right, so we just hit 80%, Alex, and uh, how are we doing? We're doing pretty good. Um, we're at now 88 kilowatts, 86, so it's going down a little bit. Yeah, and but... normally, you know, when you when you get to 80%, there's a precipitous drop mm -hmm. in in how the car is charging. Uh, and, you know, right now it's, it's, you know, let's say we had to go a little further. Let's say our, our next charger, you know, was uh, 160, and we have 177 of fuel and we want to go a little above that because if you're like me you you just are cautious you know you mm -hmm. you're going to take more energy uh but right now what happens is that after that 
golden 80% mark, it starts to drop, but we're still doing 86 kilowatts at 81%. And uh, we're just gonna take it up to 85, uh, and then we're gonna, we're gonna stop charging, because I just wanna see where we're at uh, when we're, we're, we're charging at 85%. So we just hit the 85% and uh, right now, uh, when we're looking at this thing, um, we, are, we are doing 79 to 82 kilowatts. It's fluctuating back and forth, but I'm happy with that mm -hmm. on a cold day. So that's good. So that's where we're at when we're charging at a Tesla supercharger at a Bucky's using a magic dock. Uh, and we have 188 miles of range on the gasometer at 86 percent so so that's where we're going to finish uh, off with this little segment that we're there we go and then we're going to just turn that around and wait a second we're yeah. just going to turn that around and shove it back in there oh wait line that up there we go oh. <laughs> perfect there we go pretty happy that battery preconditioning really does work uh you know, I would love to have seen this go a little further in the pack before it dropped off, but it is what it is. And on a cold day, I will take this. Uh, and of course, on a warmer day, that range is gonna go way up. So mm -hmm. I, th there's no doubt in my mind, this car is road trippable. Hey, so we just finished up our, our charging. And uh, of course, uh, we bought our, our Bucky Bucky brisket sandwiches. Mm -hmm. You know, Alex was gonna buy the small one. I said, go turn that thing in and go get yourself an extra large because these yeah. are these are pretty darn good. And you know, really when, when we look at it, that, that charge cost us about $28. And we did 76 kilowatts uh, rounding up. Uh, so that cost was about 32 cents per kilowatt. And that's one of the advantages of using the Tesla network is that when you pay that $12 a month, that fee drops down and is, is very doable. So thanks again for watching the channel. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. Uh, if you've got questions, leave them in the comments section below. Uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel and support it.